Richmond, Virginia. This should look familiar, the background of where I am. It's one of your most popular black owned restaurants uh, in the historic downtown area. And it is one that you have repeatedly said over and over again, I must come to. Uh, listen, the comments are lit. You guys are waiting for this review. You uh, know this place. You either love it or you hate it, from what I understand from the comments. And I'm gonna find out whether or not I agree with your sentiment. So let's go in and check out, well, I said Southern Table earlier. I meant to say Southern Kitchen. Did I say Southern Table? If I did, I am so sorry. Let's go and check out Southern Kitchen Restaurant here in Richmond, Virginia. Reservations for eight, but I'm sleepy. It's six o'clock, so I'm, I'm asking to see if we can get maybe an earlier seating or to the side or something like that. They may, they may not. We'll find out. I'm scared to tell you. It's, Will, it's under Williams, Darius Williams, but it's for eight o'clock. Okay, we'll get you straight. No worries. It's for eight o'clock. Yes, sir. But we was out, and I'm like, I don't want to go back to the house. I'm gonna get sleepy. I'm 41. I'm tired. Oh no, but you know how it is when you get you get tired. When, young. when you get to the house, you ain't trying to go back out. Yes, I understand. I'm a reviewer, restaurant reviewer. Oh, you are? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're welcome to have you. We Thank you. Ton of you all. Yeah. Hungry um, black man. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. Chime time, I know. Yeah. Who? Shima C H I um, Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that one. But I know I know Chime Time, I know uh Hungry Black Man. I I know of them. Yeah, Beautiful, the beautiful. Hallway. Well, that's well, that's what we hear. We're here to. Then we have had a bunch of stars. <laughs> You're a star, then, huh? A uh, couple million followers. Oh wow! Just a few. Oh, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Okay. Fine. Yeah, whatever you got. I can't be choosy. I'm here two hours ahead of time, and I know y'all busy. So yeah, whatever you can do. Fully reserved, like, Yes, there was one slot left. Yeah. There was eight o'clock slot. I got it. Okay. Southern Kitchen. They're gonna seat us. She said the mouth of the South. Oh, I like that. We're gonna find out. What's your name? Shane. 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 Darius. I love meeting the owners. Oh, this is gonna be good then. We're ready. <laughs> And the people are ready. All my followers said they, I can show you, they said Southern Table, I mean Southern Kitchen, Southern Kitchen, Southern Kitchen, they all said it. Listen, I'm, I'm always mesmerized by people. Yeah. It takes a village to raise a child. Yeah. Girl, yeah. Father's on crack cocaine. Yeah. My mother raised me alone. My grandparents' house was left alone alive. You can go to college. Yeah. Never had any culinary experience. I'm just taking the things that my grandma, I saw her do growing up. On your own? Okay. You have business partners? I've been on Chopped, I've been on Gordon Ramsay, I've been on Real House of the Potomac. Karen, you and I are like this. Not that that means anything. Yeah. I've been on all the time. So many shows. How long have you been open? Five years in this location. I had a hole in the wall my first five years. And a black man, this is his building, he invested to help me get a new space. Oh, this is going to be good <laughs> then. Welcome. Welcome to Southern Kitchen. Welcome. How are you this would be, this would be good. Okay, good. Okay, we're, good. We're, yeah, we're excited. Like yeah, do what you got to do. I'm excited about this. This is going to be great. She is the owner. I thought she was like a manager or something. She runs the joint. It's her, her spot. So uh, this should be good. She's very warm. She likes to touch you. She likes to feel you. You know, definitely south. All right. Is where we at. So her sweet tea better be amazing. She says she's been on chop. She don't know she's setting this up. This better be amazing. Richmond. Let's see what this hitting on. Let's see. All right. Got seated. 90 minutes early. They got a full. Uh, maybe a sweet tea. Well, you said the sweet tea is homemade and the lemonade. Yes. Homemade. Can I have one of each? Uh -huh. Yep, perfect. Thank you. That's the owner again. She's so nice. Okay, this is Southern Kitchen Restaurant. That means that we know exactly what we're about to get. Southern food. Fried fish, blackened catfish, fried shrimp, fried pork chops, salmon cake, shrimp and grits, seafood platter. 
chicken and waffles and meatloaf, baked chicken, Big Mama's fried chicken, country fried chicken. Oh, what's the difference between Big Mama's and country? Two white or dark chicken, wait, huh? Big Mama's fried chicken, $20. Two white or dark chicken, deep fried, served with either fried honey dipped or barbecue, or country fried chicken, which is take you back to the days of Southern Fried Delight with a boneless chicken breast smothered in white pepper gravy. There's the difference. pan seared salmon, crab cakes, chicken, liver, and onions, and then turkey wings. Oh, starters, fried okra, buffalo shrimp. Oh, y'all love that buffalo shrimp down here. They had it at the other spot. Catfish bites, mouth of the south shrimp. Salads and sandwiches. There's a po' boy again. Um, a sprig of mint would be beautiful. Thank you. Okay, like, I don't know if she's doing this because it's me. I don't know, but I'm... Sprig of mint me, please. She said my grandmother would do it. Now, she offered Corey something to drink earlier. His stuff's still sitting right here, and he ain't even... As greedy as Corey is, this is how much he got. So, I'm going to go off. I'm not going to look at him. I don't want him to tell me nothing, but I'm, I'm pretty much thinking it wasn't his favor. So, because if it was... Ain't no reason a 23-year-old still got that much drink left. I'll tell you what I think. What are we going to get? What y'all want to eat? <laughs> You're not here. I am. Good. How are you? Amber. Like the color. I'm familiar. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'm ready to roll. Okay, what are we having? All right, let's roll and do quite a few things. I gotta try the southern rolls. Okay. Everyone says you gotta get those. You want one? Uh, let's do two. Okay. If it's real good. Oh, it's eight dollars a roll though. It's gotta be good. It better be amazing. That is good. All right. So we'll do two of those, and okay. then on these entrees. Okay. What's like, don't leave here without getting this? Is it the fried chicken? It's everything, honestly. I like the fried chicken. I like the turkey wings. I like the pork chops. I like the, the whiting. It's good. The baked chicken is good. Okay, come on, Amber. You're really selling it. All right, let's do quite a few things. So why don't we do the blackened catfish? It comes with two sides, right? Yes. So are there eggs in the mac and cheese? Yes. Okay, so why don't we stick, stay away from that? I'll do collard greens and candy yams. Then I'm also gonna do the uh, Big Mama's Fried Chicken honey dipped. Do you want white meat or dark meat? Dark. Okay. Mashed potatoes and gravy and fried cabbage on that. Okay. And then why don't I do the meatloaf. You want onions and gravy on top? Uh-huh. Okay. With rice and gravy and string beans. And then, can I, is it possible to just get like one pork chop, one fried pork chop? That's all I want. Yeah, just one fried pork chop. And that should do me on. You want onions and gravy on the pork chop? No, just, should I get it like that? Cause I got, am not getting onions and gravy on something else? How about you get the onions and gravy on the side? There you go. But we are doing the onions and gravy on the meat. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then the turkey wings, are they like amazing? I love the turkey wings. Is it going to be the best turkey wing I've ever had? Uh-huh. All right. Go and put the turkey wings in too, Amber. Y'all heard what she said. All right. <laughs> now, this is going out to quite a few people. A couple I million. Heard. All right. You ho Who told you? The restaurant. What they say? They say he's good. <laughs> he's not. Trust me when I tell you. He is not. Okay. Well, we, we love to have everybody in here. Lovely. So. Beautiful. All right. Yeah, that'll do it for us. What's the two sides for the turkey wings? Oh, shit. Um... Black eyed peas and stewed tomatoes. So I can do the stewed tomatoes. I don't have no black eyed peas. No black eyed peas? Uh, mac and cheese. He'll taste it. Okay. All right. I'll put it in Thank for you. Thank you, all. Amber. No problem. All right. So, so far, so good. Service is a really amazing so far. Like, I'm really shocked at how nice everybody is. I don't know if it's just because it's me or it's really the South, but.
that's lemonade. Five out of five. Sugary as shit. I can't do too much of that. I see why he didn't drink it all. Thank you. I see why he didn't drink it all. It's light skin. Thank you. I um, I can see why. It's, uh, it's a little light skin. It ain't bad. But you don't want to sit up here and drink a whole thing of that. First of all, it's way too sweet. It needs some water. But it's still light skin because it's not brewed properly. So the tea, the lemonade is good. You see, I'm trying, y'all. I'm working something out over here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you a combination that makes sense. That helped, but it's still light skin. So um, the tea as it stands, like a two out of five. Lemonade's like a four and a half out of five, so no problems with that. And she put this cornbread in front of me, so and it's got butter all over it. Let me get a picture first, hold on. I would've put like honey butter on top of mine. If it was mine, I thought I would've did, but. It smell good. It smell like cake. It's hot. It's hot, like smoking. I don't know if the, if the heat comes through. Ooh. It's too hard to tell. I can't tell yet. You know how um you get cake or cornbread or biscuit and you reheat it so it gets soft, but it comes out too hot like smoking hot, like that's smoking. So I can't really tell you what it tastes like yet because you gotta let it cool and I can tell you what it, you know. So give me a second and don't act like that. Right, for you people that's gonna be self-righteous. Oh, I can tell, I'm a baker, I can tell. No, you can't, shut up. Do the, you do the review, you can't tell. So let that cool off a little bit and I'm gonna tell you if it's a mix or if it's um, homemade. Check out this food. The cornbread is cooled, so. But sweet, cake like a little thick, but four out of five. I can't really tell if it's a mix or if it's homemade. It's a little tough. It might be a doctored up mix, but I can't tell. All right, salt rolls are here, collard green, fried chicken, and there's a sauce. Probably a sweet sauce. Sweet Thai chili sauce. Honey and hot sauce mixed together. Thank you. I'm very close. If that's not it, I'm, I'm around the corner. It's all right. Not my favorite. I get heavy. I don't get a well-balanced bite at all. I keep saying, I don't think everything needs to be in an egg roll. Um, am I upset about it? No, but do I wanna eat a whole plate of that? I do not, actually. Um, you might like it. Uh, it's not horrible. I mean, if I had to give it a rating. Here's the thing, chicken is seasoned. You can't taste it in there. Chicken by itself is seasoned well. The chicken is a five out of five. The greens need help. It's like a three. It's not the worst thing you'll ever eat. It's not the best thing you'll ever eat. It's okay. You get three out of five. Check out the rest of this food. This is the meatloaf with the rice and gravy and the green beans. This is the black and catfish with the collard greens and the candy yams. These are the smothered turkey wings with the macaroni and cheese, and there are some stewed tomatoes over there. This is the fried chicken that's paired with the cabbage and the mashed potatoes. All right, people, I'm not gonna have this. This is the macaroni and cheese. It's got eggs in it. We'll let Corey taste it. He's, he's showing you in the camera what it looks like, and he's gonna taste it.
I'm waiting on his response. It's flavorful. It's too loose. Too loose. So a scale of one to five, five being amazing. He's tasting it again to be sure. Somebody's been watching the reviews. Three, average. There you have it, all right? All right, let's take into the turkey wing. This is right in front of my face. La, la, la. The music is great here, though, I'll tell you that much. They be jamming. They are jamming. They're playing the Ozzy Brothers. I wanna be living for the love of you. You got me, girl. There's a seasoning. This gravy's not homemade. I'm like, I'm, what am I tasting? The gravy's not homemade. I never had stewed tomatoes. What are stewed tomatoes? Stewed tomatoes. It's a side dish? Boom. It's sweet like candy. Y'all eat this? All right. Okay. Turkey wings. A few things technically wrong with it. First of all, this gravy does not taste homemade at all. And they roasted the turkey wings, almost over roasted to the point that they kind of dry. Hold on. A little meat in my tooth. It's okay. It's not my favorite. I definitely have better. Technically, like I said, they're overbaked. Seasoning's okay, but this nice green gravy is just not the bee's knees. And whatever these stewed tomatoes are, I did not know y'all eat that here. That's not good. I, you cannot tell me people are eating this and loving this. You're not making this at home. This is so sweet, it's like a dessert, right? Turkey wings are like a two, it's like a one for me, I'm sorry. And observation. It's a gravy mix. This is not homemade gravy. I'm gonna have Corey pan to one, two, three. I have four things with gravy. It's all the same gravy. So I'm gonna have him start with the meatloaf and the gravy, right? The meatloaf and the gravy is made from not real gravy, right? And then the green beans are can, we can tell that. The rice has the same gravy on there, as does the mashed potatoes over here. and the same gravy for the pork chop. So I'm just pointing these things out so that you guys can, you know, you can be aware. But if, listen, for what it's worth, if this is what you, if this is what you enjoy, then honey, eat away, enjoy. I'm just pointing it out for you. So that's not my favorite. It's not my favorite plate at all. All right. Let me see if I can get into this chicken. It smells good. See if we have better hope with the chicken. We should. Better hope, better luck. All of it. This is honey. They dipped it in honey. And I, I like the sweet on my fried chicken. Sweet and savory, I'm here for it. Yeah. Five out of five. Hang on. No party. Fiesta. She said they got some home, some hot sauce made by black owned people. Now they got Texas Pete as well. But they have this, she said this is a Heritage Fair garlic hot sauce. I like hot sauce. Yeah, this is probably one of the best fried chicken I think I've had on tour so far. Chicken is a five out of five, every day, all day, twice on Sunday. I would eat this any day. Hold on. Mm. This is good. And it's not spicy. Heritage Farms. 
Um, mm, that was delicious though. Mm. That's good. Okay. Chicken's a winner. Mashed potatoes. They look instant. Cabbage needs a little sugar. Cabbage is all right. It's a little too salty, needs a little sugar to balance it out. Party on this plate is a fried chicken. I've had better cabbage before, you have too. But I cannot say enough good things about the fried chicken. So, so far, the uh, popping thing for me. Oh no, I'm just moving it over there. Oh, thank you. You are so nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Honey, she's so nice. She come running up behind. She the owner. If I own something anyway, I'm finna run up behind y'all. You here? You here? She is so she is so nice. We need more people like that in the world. I'm just not one of them. What can you say about this Mila? Mm, mm, mm. Child, that's all right. You know what it tastes like? For tasting more, it's encore. Now, the goat of meatloaf is Miss Tory over there in Sacramento, in the hood. I went to a place last week. That meatloaf looked like shit. But that was the best goddamn meatloaf I probably ever had in my life. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Do you need anything? Not right now. I'm good. It's probably the best meatloaf I've had. Not in my life, but in a long time. The meatloaf is top tier, honey, top tier. This is just not right. That meatloaf, she should come over here. We're gonna fly her in. I don't even wanna eat this. This rice and gravy. It's not homemade rice. Gravy is canned or whatever that is. These is green beans in, in a can. Yeah. See the thing. Before y'all tell me up in the comments, I know what's coming. I'm in Virginia, right? I'm in what's known as the South. Right? I'm an hour and 15 minute flight from Atlanta, from Georgia. You know what I mean? I'm literally in, I'm in the South. Why is this gravy not homemade? Why are these green beans out of a can? Why are the mashed potatoes? You see what I'm saying? At Southern, Southern Kitchen Table, or Southern Kitchen Restaurant, why is it like that? Right? All right. You get my point, and that's my gripe with some of the restaurants, right? It's like, I'm cool with shortcuts, but make the shortcuts make sense. I just left the croaker spot before we got here, and the croaker spot, croakers or whatever you call it, outstanding. Like, even if the food wasn't executed properly, everything was scratch made. There wasn't a shortcut in the building, right? And when you got that much stuff happening on your menu, where there's no shortcut, yes, some things are gonna happen. The one sauce may be too salty, something may be too mushy, you know, it's what it is but they still doing it from scratch. You feel me? Why do I want to come to a restaurant and pay for instant mashed potatoes, canned green beans, cardboard rice, and instant gravy? Pay for it. When I'm not doing that at the house, right? That's all I'm saying. All right, black and catfish. Hmm. Okay. Not the best I've ever had, not the worst. It's blackened, it's seasoned. It's just not exciting. That's all. All right. Collard greens. First of all, I just want you to see before y'all get on me. I want you to see it, all right? All right. I just want you to see that before y'all get on me. Talking about you tearing people restaurant, you tearing down black business. K Michelle, you, is this how you eat your collard greens, pudding? Huh? You want to scooch on over to this? Huh? Do you want to scoot, scooch on over with this? No, you don't, all right? But let me taste it while I'm talking. It might be the best collard greens I've ever had in my life, but these collard greens ain't cooked down worth nothing. They went out to the field, put these in some warm water, put them on this plate, and it tastes like it. That ain't good worth shit. 
I'm sorry. No, that's not good. I don't even want to spit it out. I got to smile because she's looking at me. <laughs> so I'm going to do one of these numbers. It's not good. I'm sorry. I'm trying my hardest to smile and chew. This is not good. You're not going to like that. You cannot tell me you in Virginia. Richmond. I know we're close to D.C. Get north. But you cannot tell me. That's it right there, baby. You can't tell me that. I'm not going to let you tell me. Okay. Let me try these candy in. Now, these are real. Yeah, those are. You don't like those. I don't like candy hands, but you don't like those. Okay. Let me try this pork chop. If the pork chop like the fried chicken, we in business. Somebody go to Kroger, Publix, Dominic's, Jewel, and get me a produce bag, the clear one, because it's 18 bunches of parsley. No, look. You think I'm lying? How much parsley does one need to eat with? Please, we can make chimichurri for all the people in Africa. <laughs> Let me stop when she put me up out of here. We can make chimichurri to go over these dry um, turkey wings. Let me see. Yeah, five out of five. Pork chop is amazing. Seasoned beautifully, delicious. A little dry, but it's seasoned, so I can give it a give it a break. I mean, let's give some ratings. I haven't done that, have I? Well, I did this. The turkey wings I said were two. Stewed tomatoes, one. This is a four. This is a fried pork chop. The meatloaf, it's like a two. The rice and gravy green beans are one. The mashed potatoes and the cabbage are a one. Fried chicken is a five out of five, every day, all day, twice on Sunday. The uh, catfish is a three. Candy yams are a three. The collard greens are a one. And Corey gave, Corey gave the macaroni and cheese a three. So um, just average, but let me go outside. I'll give you my final thoughts outside. Oh, I'm going to be I've watched you. I've already been familiar with you. I, you know, now that I know who you are, I follow you. Okay. I'm a very big fan of okay, you. Okay, thank you. You, Sammy Davis. Yeah. Sammy and Mary. Yeah, I all the chefs. Yeah, he just gave me a very close opinion the other day. So for me, it's about the learning experience. Gotcha. Outside of what, this is your job. You know? it, it is. You, you know that. I and I'm, thank you for being a good sport about it. Yes, thank you so much. Never, ever, ever. Because, what's up, man? Yeah, that's me, man. How you doing? Yes. Good, good, good. Pleasure to meet you, man. First thing is, I'm appreciative that you even Yes, me. yes, and yes. second is, along the way, and it's any nuggets you can drop and I can watch what you do, because, you know, I've done all I can to bring a more upscale environment to the world of Africa. And, and when I, let me tell you, I go to restaurants all over this country. This aesthetic, mm -hmm. top notch. Service, top notch. Uniforms, staff, top notch. You have succeeded in that. You are far surpassed restaurants that I've been to all over the country. You should be very proud of that. That's amazing. Um, so my only, my, I had a few critiques. Um, Outside of that, I just want you to know for me that I just want to hear from all the one person in the corner of what can I do to be better, to make better things? What's wrong? Why, why, tell me what's going on. Here. This is all I have. This is all you have. Well, what's the emotion? What are you feeling? What's going on? Okay. I worry that I do cool things in the order and God. Mm. I start with love because yeah. I've never had anything in my life. Yeah. I've always been poor. Right. So I'm concerned that I keep this restaurant where I need to survive. Do you feel like it's not where it needs to be? No, it's amazing. So Where what's the emo there's some there's some sort of emotion that I I just want to do good. You know, I want things to be better. I know I could do better, some things better. It's sold out every night. Yeah. Like financially, she's a burden. Because people look from the outside and they go, you got to be rich. No. no. I know. <laughs> I struggle. I know. You got staff. Right. You have labor. My labor is 20 years. I know. You were going to tell me bad. you have labor, you have liquor. Right. You have licenses. People, so you I have vendors. Sammy, I'm like, listen, I'm struggling to survive. I need you to explain to me this culinary thing. So you may see it. 
But here's the thing. Don't no offense um to Sammy, but I'm not I'm not a fan of his, okay. right? We've had some run-ins before in the past. But don't look at him and go to him and think he's rocking and rolling either, right? Because he's also struggling as well in the restaurant industry. His restaurant was two doors down from mine in, in College Park. Okay, I had Soul Crab, there was a uh, um, Virgil's in between us, and then it was Milk and Honey, all right? So I don't want you to think he was outside on the sidewalk frying fish outside. Now, you know that's not, okay? <laughs> right. All right, he was frying whole fish outside with an extension cord. So, so um, I don't want this to be a situation where you look at somebody else and compare their journey to where you are. Don't do that. Everybody's different. Oh, I know. I've, I've, I've owned three restaurants. And next year, I'm getting back into the restaurant industry, so I understand. And if I wasn't Darius Cooks, I wouldn't do it. So I get it. What you're doing is phenomenal. The fact that you are here, we go all over. We don't even see owners in their establishment. And people respect you. You can see what's going on around here. And your heart is in it, and I can tell. Right? I even heard when uh, you ran over to the phone and make sure the phone, somebody answered the phone. You know, I see that kind of stuff. So please just know that I receive all of the energy that you're putting out. Um, so so far, so good. On the food, a couple of critiques, right? You got your fried stuff down back. Honey, that's the best fried. They said on chop. Is that what they she said? She said that. Yeah, what, that's, when you say that, go say what you okay, say. Okay, that's about the best fried that's chicken. That's what they said. I never had in my life. Chicken fried. Chicken yeah, fried. oh yeah, you got that. <laughs> but then a couple of things, right? Okay. So canned green beans. Yeah, yeah, and they hated the fresh ones when I had them. Canned green beans, and I'm in Virginia. That's fine. And listen, let me tell you something. If you love what you're doing, don't even listen to me. No, I'm gonna listen. I understand, yes. but if you, I'm a it is. But if you, but here's the thing. If you feel like what you're doing is what you should be doing, my opinion don't even matter. I should go back to the fresh. I, you should go back to whatever you feel like you need to be doing. I'm giving you my opinion, okay. and you can take it or leave it. You see what I'm saying? So I just, I don't want canned green beans, okay. right? The gravy, I can tell it's not homemade. Uh -huh. I can tell it's not homemade. Right. The same gravy you got on the here, you have on the potatoes, the rice, and the pork chop. I know it's not homemade. Use a beef base. I, I know it's not homemade, gotcha. and it would be nice. There's a place in um, Birmingham called Old Taste and Seek. The guy's name is Tim. It's a little hole in the wall. Okay. Best gravy I've ever had, right? So sometimes making that fresh gravy okay. is the difference, okay. right? Okay. Um, what up? The collard greens, and this is what I showed on the thing. I don't know if you saw. The cut, I love that they're fresh. The whole collard. I love that they're fresh. And if you want whole collards, do. don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Where I come from, we you slice them up. Then, then that's fine. <laughs> then keep it up. But the thing is, the broth just isn't balanced, okay. right? I, I don't. I taste like the bitterness from the greens, okay. a little oil, a little sugar, a little oh, Cajun okay. seasoning. Yeah, a little sugar. That'll help bring a little bit of balance okay. to that. So oil. Yeah, I, yeah. It, it needs it needs oil. It's bitter. Okay. So it needs oil. Does it needs sugar. No, it don't matter. I mean, we make collard greens every year. We're here. We're here. We have six sold out dinners. Okay. We're here. To, oh, I know. Okay, I that's know. why we're here. So I get it. And we cook collard greens every single week. We do collard greens with smoked turkey and a watermelon chow chow. We do it every week. So, yeah, we do it every week. So that was my critique on that. And that was it. And this is probably a cultural thing, regional. People might love this, the stewed tomatoes. I don't, right? But that's okay. I'm not from here. Right. You see what I'm saying? I love fried okra. People in the north don't like fried okra. We have fried okra. I know you do. I'm just saying. Some people love it. I love it. People don't. So don't listen to me on this. So those are my critiques. Okay. My critiques, right? So let me ask you about, about the gravy. In all honesty, so we're making the gravy from a beef base, right? And then we do flour, water, and then the base. So my, I, I'm not good at gravy. This is, not, this is a faux pas. Mm -hmm. gravy. So I'm trying to figure out how to be better at a gravy. Yeah, so you can I make... Have a pork gravy, right? No, you can do a beef gravy, but I would stick away from the beef base. What I would do is I would make the roux the way you do it. So flour and oil, get the roux to a dark color. Once you get it to a dark color, add in um, beef uh, stock. Or you could do water and beef bouillon. It's fine. And then you season that, okay. right? Onion powder garlic powder and sometimes um, and I learned this from one of my friends who is a, a director a, a lunchroom manager in Chicago for the public school system he does half beef half chicken half beef half chicken stock the best flavor you ever had right so that'll 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 get you away from because people know this is not a real gravy and when you come to a place called Southern Kitchen why is the gravy not? Why I don't want that. You know? So those are my those are my critiques. You got a great thing going. Clearly you do. The place is busy. The place is packed. You know what I'm saying? So these are just my little critiques. I take those highlights. 
I mean, because I respect your opponent. Where I, Thank you. And I'm not saying that I don't disrespect everybody. No, I get you. I get it. I mean, you toasted, uh, you toasted some of the most beautiful dishes possible. Yeah, I try. I try. I try. I mean, I follow some people. I, don't, I can't. I don't follow everybody. Yeah, it's hard. It's, it's a, a lot of people out there. there. A lot of people are doing, are doing stuff. Yeah. You know, I know you have a cookbook. I do. You got five. Yeah? Yeah, five. Again, you've got a great thing going. I would just do some tweaks. Yeah. So they are, I've, I've called to try to, because like the financial side of it, like talking the laws, learning the rules of how much your sales should be. So we don't have anyone in our world that teaches, what is it called, a person that comes in for a week and can... Yeah, like a, like a, like a consultant. consultant. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Because, well, it's first of all... So like me, I want a consultant. I know. And I would pay, I mean, it's worth it to me to have. But you gotta get somebody, it's gonna be somebody white. I know, I know, it's gonna be somebody white. The problem is, we don't, we don't even have that many black owned restaurants in this country. I just came from Sacramento. The last day, I didn't even go no place else, because. Yeah, I mean, I it looks to, like it. I had to like, it looks like it. Baby, it looks like, it looks amazing here. And I can't imagine what the rent is. I can't imagine. And you downtown. I know how much chicken you got to be able to fry to be able to make the rent. You ain't got to tell me. <laughs> I understand your pain. That's why I say there's an emotion behind that. I care. And, right, and that's the emotion. The emotion is you don't put your heart and soul and into this, and you want everybody to love it. For yeah, and yeah, money. yeah. And it's probably the hardest thing you ever did in your life. And you walk around here to dress in them cute <laughs> Chanel shoes. Honey, I, this is, I, when I own restaurants, I'm a non slip Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. You look I amazing. Dress for the nighttime, but early I had on these shorts and stuff to get sure in my. And you're doing this by yourself? Nobody else. No business partner, no spouse, no nothing. No, no. I've been got rid of the man. <laughs> Sometimes you have to. All right. That's why you can. That's why you can smile. Yes, all right. Yes. Wow. Well, I think it's. I think it's admirable. I rarely do I see female um, business owners. Really, do I see female business owners? You see this? You see, amazing. I can tell you care. Really, do I see that? You, listen, you're doing a fantastic job. A fantastic job. What do you think, um, like, what's your goal? What would you love to see happen? When they come in, they're like, you should get another seven kitchen. The seven kitchen should be everywhere. And I'm thinking to myself, I gotta streamline this. Because like, most of the stuff, besides the gravy, is like my grandmother. Mm -hmm. and my you should, you should go there, you should have one here, you should have one here. Because they said you have so much eye for detail, the boss of the food, you care about the ambiance of the restaurant, the bathroom. All of it, yeah. And so when Gordon Ramsay spoke with me, he told me that he said, you got to be out of it. He said, I don't have anything bad to say. I'm not going to do anything. He said, you need to streamline your business. No, I would, you need, I would make some changes to the food. Yeah, okay. Personally, I would. And you know what's interesting? Let's do a social experiment. Okay. I'm gonna put, normally I ask people, here's what I ate, what do you think, right? I'm gonna change that around. I'm probably gonna ask people, I went to Southern Kitchen. Those of you who've been, what are your thoughts? And let's see what the people say, right? Let's see what they say before I give you, before I give them my thoughts to see if what they say line up. You see what I'm saying? And then, and then I'll reach out to you. What you got, a cell phone number? Oh, it's great. No, you need to tell no, me. No, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Be honest with me. Yeah, I'll tell I you. I want to survive. I don't want to speak. No. Be honest with me. You know, I've given my whole everything to this place. Yeah, but I, what I'm not hearing from you is where your frustration is. There's a frustration it's somewhere there. Okay. So, are you not making the money you want to make? You want to make more? Are you? I want to get to a point. I'm not worried about. Are you, so you're still, are you breaking even or are you not even breaking even? Not breaking even. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. Cause your prices are probably top of the line. You probably can't go anymore no, higher on your prices. No. Do you need more bodies in here? I don't know. More people? I'm, working, I mean, I'm, working. I'm talking about more customers. No, I can't, I don't have any more room. Open table, And you're still not, all right, let's do this. Let's start with the conversation with the general public. Because I, I don't know if you know this. I posted earlier, where should I go? Mm -hmm. 
and they exploded and said Southern Table. Mm -hmm. They even inboxed me and said, you got to go to Southern Table. Mm -hmm. So let's see what people are thinking first. Um, what did I say? I said, Let me say this to you. please. Kelman's Manning's, I just the face of Kelman's Manning's with Tiffany Gary. Uh -huh. Oh, I love Tiffany, my uh, friend. So commercial wise, everybody, they, the brands love me. Yeah. Right? But brands are, they, they gave me a minimum amount to do their home. That's why I don't, I don't do that. I don't do any of that. I do my own thing because I make a lot of money doing my own right. thing. No, I get that. So oh, everyone loves me, the brands. Shane, can you do the brand for us? So somebody said, I'm so ashamed y'all telling Darius to go to Southern Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Plenty of other black uh, owned restaurants with better food, right? right. So this is the hard sure truth is. what people are saying. This is the hard truth. Right. So when I went to, the, so I said, so y'all saying don't go to Southern Table? Mm -hmm. And some people were saying, you should try, don't go. What said is her other restaurant went up in flames this morning? They did. It's over there. What happened? My restaurant went this morning? Mm -hmm. And you're still standing here all composed together? Yes. What? You need, you want to sit down? Huh, you need to have a seat. Huh? Have a sit, sit. No, no, no. No, please have a seat. I'm going to put up a chair next to you. Please, 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 please. Please. You need to. You need to take a break. All right? You're going a little too tough. You, you're still human. You got stuff going on. You know what I mean? What happened with the building? Is it insured? Yes. Okay. Did you lose personal stuff? Yes. A lot of it? How do you feel about that? I mean, Clearly you haven't had a chance to process this and talk about it. I mean, the news wanted me on, everybody wanted me on. But for me, it's more about my staff and my employees. I put children to school. You know, I'm tired. We are, I do the same thing. I get it. I get it. So I worry that they get to survive. If I go under, they can't survive. What about you? I've got a good one. You God has blessed me more than I ever could. I'm a girl. I never dreamed I'd see the way So I'm not upset. You, I, gosh. Your resilience and strength is amazing. It's beyond amazing. It really is. We're going to do some stuff to highlight you. I, I don't, I don't know what I can do, but... Your spirit is too great for people not to be able to experience that. What are you, what are you feeling? There's some, there's some more emotion inside. I have three children. Mm -hmm. I you know, struggled, single. I made some rough decisions in my life. I come from the streets. No college degree, barely got out of high school. I had babies by a bunch of hustlers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but that was your past, so that's fine. Okay, yeah, we, we're gonna put some stuff together. I'm gonna do what I can. I don't have a magic wand to wave. I wish I did, I don't. Um, but I can tell your heart is here. And I think that's important beyond, beyond the gravy and the green beans, you know what I'm saying? Like your heart is here and people need to see that. So we'll do what we can. Um, I, I don't even know, let me think about what I could even do. Um, Cause you're not the only restaurant tour no, that I've no. come across. That's like Gary. Like I know, I get it. I know. I own three restaurants at the same time. Gary's is a lot. 110 employees. It's I had lot, two in Atlanta and I had one in Chicago. I get it. And I was trying to do my tour at the same time. So I let I let the restaurants go so I could focus on my tour. My tour is ending in December. I can get back into the restaurant world. But the restaurant world is going to be carry out, fast, casual. That's it. Oh baby, I'm not doing this. All this full service stuff. You can have it. Um, yeah, I just, I, and let me tell you, where I found a lot of success from in running restaurants mm -hmm. is becoming a social media superstar. No, that's a negative, because negative stuff is so hard. It's, it is harsh, it's, it is harsh, it's tough, but the thing no is, what you go through outside of when you shut that door. But the thing is, people should be aware of that. I think that's what humanizes people. The fact that you're going through something and you feel and you have emotion, the people behind that camera that's watching, they do too. And that's gonna connect them. That's why he ain't turned this camera off yet. They need to hear this. That's gonna connect them. So I, I mean, you can think about this, but how I found a lot of success is by becoming a social, literally putting templates together, getting on social, cooking live, 
developing my audience, all that stuff online, and that's how I've got the success. That way when I go open up the Southern Fish Company, when I open up the Southern Fish Company in Houston, I'll have my line, I don't have to worry about it. We'll say, put it, put it in boxes, we'll take it to go. Yeah, I'll have my line. So, I, I, you know, that's something I've done. You can think about that for yourself and we can certainly talk through that. But I'll do what I can. I don't know, Shane. This is tough, man. You put me in a real, you put me in a real pickle because I now I want to help you. I just don't know how. You know? I, I, I guess for me, um, deep down inside, I really don't see a lot of successful black owned women businesses. Me, me neither. Me neither. Me neither. So I just don't know this right It's just that we just don't have success in this. Yeah. I'm gonna, let me. I took capital loans off of machines, you know, toast. Toast, they give you money. They, that's what, that's what they give you money. I'm not real with it. I'm not no, I know how it goes. Yeah, I know how it goes. Toast, they give you money and they'll take it off, you know, off of your deposits and all that. I know. And so for me, it's like, my daughter's keep saying, Mom, go back to the television. Go back to the rent. No, you gotta, you gotta look at the numbers. Look at your books. You gotta go back and look at, see how much. Where are the consultants for us? Where are the people that are helping us? We don't have any. We don't even have people. Where do people open in restaurants? What do people do? We don't. We under everything under capitalized, under stock. We just everything. We don't have it. My daughter and I have a 700 and some credit score. No marks. Wouldn't give us no money. Sorry. Because there's no there's no collateral. No collateral. No collateral. Yeah, and you know what? It wasn't until I left the restaurant. And I'm telling, don't do this. I let the restaurants go. American Express. They give me every card I want. <laughs> They didn't reach the, I got a damn, I got a platinum, platinum American Express with no limit. Ain't that crazy? With no limit. I don't know either. I, I mean, I tell people all publicity, I get television and radio. I market it between some yeah. I, get, I get marketing. All publicity is different. Oh, yeah, that's why I turn them all. Yeah, I turn it off. But what happens for me is I don't understand where is the survival. How come Gordon Ramsay's worth 80 million? How come Bear for Contestants worth? Have you looked at that? I know their network. network. Guy Fieri, I know all you of that. Do. Well, but you, are, but you know they also have the machine behind them that we don't have. Well, we, we don't band together. To it's, not even, it's, it's not even banned, because I can talk about this for hours. It's not even banned together. The thing is, nobody understands us and Soul Food and those spaces that will allow us to go in. The problem is you have to educate them before you can entertain them. And I'm not, I'm not shucking and driving. I'm not doing that. I'm not coming into a space where there's a majority of white people who don't understand our story, don't understand our history, have no idea what fried chicken means to us. You want me to educate you first and then entertain you. Not interested in doing it. Food Network has approached me so many times, but the problem with Food Network is that you don't, you want what I have. You want my books and all, I can't give you that. You see what I'm saying? There's none of us saying that. Literally, li I went live two days ago. I made 30. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. They have, they have the pot. They have the machine behind them. Is their food that good? No. 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 It's not. No, it's Farm not. Rules. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Nancy Fuller. Nancy. Yeah, I know Nancy so Fuller. I know. I know. I know. It's not. But that's what I'm saying. To you, Shane, is that if we're able to to turn you into your own network, you become your own superstar. You've got a story. People love. There's so many women who would love to flock to you. And hear what you have to say, and you love people, right? So we, so we were able to turn you into a social media superstar. He follows me everywhere with that camera. Content, 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 content. That that whole thing with the fire in the building. People need to hear about that. That's that humanizes you. You know, you you are a beautiful person, but you a person, right? So behind all of this and all of this, can I help you? Can I get this? Can I grab that? Is a person who's hurting. Oh no, no, I don't believe in that. I suffer greatly from depression and anxiety. I take antidepressants every day. I don't believe in that. I believe in therapy. I believe in working through trauma, working through pain. Oh no, I don't believe in that. You can, I don't need that, but I'm saying Yeah, yeah, we were all taught that. Yeah, don't tell we don't want the outside know what's going on. But that's what's killing us on the inside. Is not by not doing that. I have another buddy of mine, he's in the restaurant business, um, Chef JR, you might know him. Um, J.R. Robinson out of um, D.C. He goes by Kitchen Cray. Oh, I do know. You, yes. You Kitchen Cray. He's been very, very successful in his I'm restaurants. Sure. He's very, like, multi-seven figures. So I'm I'm great friends with him. So between him and Tobias Dory, I'm going to figure something out. 
I'm gonna figure something out. Cause they, they're running restaurants and they're doing amazing work. I'm gonna figure something out for you. I don't know what, but give me some time. I just text you from my personal cell phone. I'm gonna do what I can to make sure people hear this. And we're gonna figure something out. Thank you. Thank you, baby. And y'all have a good day, so. No, you're good. You, that's your customer. Yeah, that's yeah. our customer, honey. Bug them. Okay? They didn't want coming up here. We'll figure something out. I just want to talk personally with Mr. Tony. I appreciate everything you, you know, coming tonight, whether, you know, whether whatever we get. I just want you to know this is what you do. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out my little niche before I give up. And you know what? <laughs> Being open and honest about where you are is the first step. Right? The fact that you're willing to be open, willing to be honest, and open to the feedback, first step. Yes. We go places and we and it ain't technically it's wrong, the taste is wrong, and they wanna cuss us out because we gave us we gave our opinion. No. You know what I'm saying? And if it's not good, it's not we'll tell you it's not good. Like we didn't like it. And it's two of us. It's my opinion, really was what matters, but he's also coming behind <laughs> me telling you, like, yeah, no, nah, I don't like it. Or we'll take it back to the staff. I got four chefs that travel with me. You know what I'm saying? So maybe, maybe, I don't know, what time you open? But tomorrow's Friday, 12 noon. Maybe I'll send my two of my chefs over here. Okay. I'll text you. That we'll pay for it. I'll send my two of my. Yeah, but I'm get, I'm a giver too. Right. So you're gonna have to receive it. Okay. I know how it is. It's tough. You're gonna have to receive it. I'm a giver. We paying. Um, I might send them over here, and I want to get their feedback too, because I want to I want to get a list of like. What are people saying? Before I come back to you and saying, here's what here's what people are talking about. I just I would like to see us have like, our day in the sun. No, I get it. I get it. Just like Giada, Barry, Contessa, Guy Ferretti, Bobby Flesh. Yeah, but you realize that we probably will never get that because we don't have that machine behind us. I will see it before. And I and you know what? Gotta, gotta I know, I, I agree. I'm going to push. I, I want you to push, but realistically, every black person that's been on Food Network, where are they now with the exception of Sonny Anderson? That's the only one. And, and, and half the black people don't even like her, including me, right? And I was on her show four times, okay? So it's like we, you had um, Aaron McCargo Jr., right? He won. Next Food Network star. He was on QVC, HSM. Where's he at now? Working at a hotel. They don't have the machine. I'm telling you, I'm, that's why I think I've abandoned having the machine behind me. I've created my own machine. I don't know if you want to think about doing the exact same thing, but I created my own machine. I got my own videographers, my own photographers, my own sites, my own everything, my own channels for distribution. I, I have my own warehouse with my own products, my books, my pots, my skillets, my knives, my glasses, my pressure cookers, my air fryers in my warehouse. I agree, it's not, but that's the hand. So the question is, are you going to allow that obstacle to stay in your way, or are we going to figure out a way to get over that obstacle and push forward regardless? Just think about it. I, this is a rhetorical question. It's rhetorical. I'm not telling you to give me an answer. It's rhetorical. So just think about that. Can you bring me a check, please? I don't care what she's saying. Shame. 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 What's his name? They ain't gonna do it, I what's the what that servant that I had? I don't know. Amber. There she go. Put this in your pocket. I'm, I'm a giver. I'm not going to take no for an answer. I believe in blessing just like you do. Okay? So sometimes you got to say, you know what? Thank you. And you don't want to. I know you don't. I can see it all over your face. But I'm here to bless you. All right? Now go put that up so I get my hug before I leave up out of here. All right? She's been with me since she was 13. Has you? So you've raised, you've raised so many people. Yeah. Oh my God, Shane. It's going to be okay. <laughs> I promise you, we're gonna get through it. We're gonna figure it out. It's gonna be all right. I promise. As long as we stick together, people like you and me, we stick together. We're gonna. I know it is. 
everybody, it's like nobody wants to see us. And we're fighting a battle against, I, I know. I'm in excellence, everybody wants me to change the excellence. Like, the food I can work on, first to get straight is the ambiance. And I go to five-star restaurant, I mean, the food's okay, but I love the ambiance yeah. and I'm going down. Yeah. So some of the things I can tweak, but for the most part, I try to make it. Shane, don't do, I mean, listen, you got a good thing going. I know that, you said the great exactly with you on that. Yeah, <laughs> well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree on there's, that. There's, but there are things I can improve on my menu. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's an ever evolving thing. But the foundation of what you got, don't change that. I'm not getting no money. We're going to work it out. We're going to figure it I don't think it's that. I think we can look at the internal ways. You can look at the books. You could also look at ways to save. Right. You could even look at things on your menu that you can use once for multiple things. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So there's ways to do cost cutting. There's Love you, Boo-Boo. You back? <laughs> go, go deal with him. Go, go deal with him. Go deal with him. Go deal. That's your regular. It ain't no going on there. I'm 50 something years old. No, I'm saying, no, I'm saying. But if you're a regular, go, go chat with him. Go chat with him. I'll be up there in a minute. All right. I, I mean, you know, this is, this is fantastic. I didn't even know any of this was going to happen <laughs> here today as I was reviewing the food. Hopefully. Uh, when I was reviewing it and going through the dishes, hopefully I didn't, I don't think I had like an attitude or a bad disposition and hopefully it matched that whole conversation. That shit was, that's gold. All right. Corey got all of it. I'm sure you can hear her perfectly. So let me give her my goodbyes and let me go outside and give you my final thoughts. So let me do some research. Yeah, six, four. <laughs> the camera makes you look fatter and shorter in real life. Yeah, it does. No, 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 you're fine. So what I'm going to do is let me do some, gather some research, get some data together, and I'm going to reach out to you once I'm done. There is I mean, I got to understand this thing. No, we're going to work it out. I got to, there's enough resources to put this together to figure something out. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. That's good. It should be. Because you got expenses, baby. That's why. I did the same thing. There would be a soul crab on a Friday, $45,000. On a Friday. On a Saturday, $50,000. On a Sunday, you know, $25,000, $27,000, right? Of every dollar I got, 85 cents went out the door. That's a restaurant for you. That's a restaurant. That's one of the reasons why when I open back up again, it's going to be carry out only, right? I don't need no front of the house now. I'm doing kiosks, mm -hmm. right? I can, That's run, right. I can run the whole place with about four people. But they want me on television all I, the time. See what I'm saying? Always emailing me. What yeah. Do yeah, yeah. But, and this is your main concern. Yeah. No, I get it. I get it. The money's coming in, but the money's not staying in. No. We got to fix that. All right. We'll work it out. Let me get some data together. I'm, I'll reach out to you, okay? I'm going to send my people over tomorrow, okay. and you and I will be talking, okay? okay thank all right. You. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, that was amazing. Uh, all of that was caught on camera, which is fantastic. Now, about the food, I'm not changing what I said, right? The uh, fried food, the chicken and the pork chop, hands down, some of the best I've ever had in my entire life. That goes without saying, with that Black-owned Heritage Farm hot sauce, if it's good, it's good. Side dishes, as you can see, and you heard from the owner, need a little help. So um, I'm inspired, I, I don't even know how. I could begin to help her. Um, this is not a surface level type of help, right? This is an intrinsic, immersive, deep level purpose juxtaposed against, you know, action, looking, literally looking at the every penny, figuring out where things went, things like that. So I, you know, I definitely want to help. I don't know how, um, but I've got some, some major players in the restaurant industry I can call on. We'll figure something out. But um, as you can see, her heart is in this. This thing is all about love, which is which is supersedes everything else. So if you're in Richmond, uh, come out, check her out. I am giving the restaurant a two and a half out of five just because of some of the technical issues. But the owner agrees, as you can see. Right. So if you're ever in Richmond, still come check them out. I say this every week. Love, support, dollars. They need it. All three. Bring them when you come on down here. Come see Shane over at Southern Kitchen Restaurant and get some of that fried chicken with that hot sauce. She doesn't even know how it burned down. She had no idea. This is the restaurant that, um, the space that she had. She wasn't, she wasn't in this space. She was a, she had moved across the street, um, told me that somebody helped her 
the owner of the building who's black invested and made sure she had that space over there. But I, I'm assuming this is where she was to begin with. Um, you guys will tell me if I'm wrong, but she pointed over here and this has clearly just happened recently. So what do you do? What do you say? I don't know, you know, it's not good. Um, and I asked her, I said, you, don't, you, have, you have insurance? She said, yeah, I had insurance. That's important, all right? Black people, please get some insurance. But I said, did you lose personal effects? She said, yeah, so that hurts. But where she gets her strength and her resilience from, I need to figure out so I can go get some right along with her.